<clears throat> What's going on everyone? Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'll be talking about three object methods. The ones I'll be talking about will be object.keys, object.values, and object.entries. So I'll be explaining how they work and I'll also be showing you some examples of how to use them. So uh, let's get into it. So the first one we'll talk about will be object.keys. And what this method does is you'll pass in an object and what object.keys will do is it will return an array of the object's property names. So for example, in here we have a sales object that has uh, a key of the uh, salesman's name and also the amount in sales. So if we do uh, console.log of sales, oh, I'm sorry, not sales, but object.keys, and then we pass in sales, go ahead and save that, and then we'll run our index.js file. Uh, you can see we have an array of those property names, and as well as if we do values, so object.values is the next method, and uh, this method will return an array of the object's values. So if we save that and run this, we'll get an array of those values. And the third method is object.entries. And what this will return is it will return an array of key value pairs like this. So if we do object.entries and then we do sales like that, we can run that. And as you can see, we have an array and then we have a sub array of a key and value pair. And so we can do another example here. So uh, an example I want to do is uh, I want to create a function that will return the sum of the total sales that we've had. So we can do a function, do sum sales, and we can pass in an object. And then in here we can use a for uh, a for of loop and this is a new loop in ES6 where it allows you to loop over um, objects, arrays, maps, sets, etc. So uh, it's pretty handy. So we can do let value of let's see obj and then in here we can do uh, also we'll create a variable here we'll call it sum to keep track of our sum and then as we're looping over it, we can add the value. And my mistake, I need to do object dot, let's see, dot values, because we're looping over values. So that's going to be an array that we're looping over. So object dot values will return uh, this array here, and that's what we'll be iterating over. And then as we're iterating over it, we'll be accumulating the sum. So then we can just do return sum and down here we'll just go ahead and call console.log and do sum sales, pass in the sales object, save that, and then we'll call our index.js file. And as you can see, we get the total sum there. And uh, for the last example I want to do, I want to do an example where we just return out a, a string of uh, basically the saying that uh, John has had 30 uh, sales and we'll make use of object.entries to do that. So in this function, I'll call it function, uh, I'll just call it person sales and then we'll pass in an object. And then in here, we can just do another for of loop and then we'll do a let. And then we're actually going to destructure the key and the value of object.entries. And then we'll pass in the object. And then uh, here, we'll just do a console dot log and we'll do backticks here since we'll be using some JavaScript uh, variables and then we'll do uh, this will be key so John had 
then we'll do another one and then we'll do value had 30 sales and then we can go down here and then we can do person sales save that and go ahead and run our code and as you can see we have john had 30 sales sally had 40 sales rob had 35 jim 50 and kim 49 and so those are a few examples of how object.keys.values and dot entries work so um hopefully you found it valuable if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more content like this go ahead and subscribe thanks for watching everyone have a good day